name? Jeannie? All right. Uh, Jeannie is your name. All right. And what do you do for a living, Jeannie? I <laughs> 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 oh, work in telecommunications, okay. And uh, what do you do for fun, for hobbies? Uh, as little as possible. Okay. Hike. Okay, hike and swim. Nice Ride bikes. Okay, so kind of an athletic. Alex. A little bit. All right, cool, cool. Um, you have any other kind of hobbies or, or things that you like to do? Um, not that I can think of right now. All right, cool. Um, if you were to think about that perfect match, that perfect someone to date, what would be some of the pros? <laughs> someone shows up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You were waiting for somebody tonight. I was stood up three times this month. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you should divorce that guy. <laughs> other than timeliness and or showing up when they're supposed to. What are other pros that you would look for in a, in a Oh, uh, has to have a job, his own car. A job and a car, okay. Uh, good conversation. Good conversation, okay, cool. <laughs> good kisser, all right, excellent. Nothing to do with looks. We're still got you. All right, what are, what are the uh, turnoffs or the, you know, the red flags for you? Uh, smoker, drinks too much. Smoker, no, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> smoker drinks too much and what? Drugs, yeah, you know, Tylenol, aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> way too much, you know, yeah, that's it. Way too much, you know, Benadryl, you know, yeah. No teeth, all right, no teeth, all right. If you, were, if you wanted to go anywhere in the world for a first date, where would it be? Oh, Maui. Maui? Oh, Maui. Oh, Maui. Oh, Maui. Jeannie, we're going to find you a date on the on-screen theater, baby because I'm so busy hiking and, and doing things when I'm not working. Uh, and basically, let me tell you how this is going to go. The bar is at the very bottom. <laughs> I don't really care anything about it. All I want is somebody to actually show up to our day. So I'm thinking this is my chance here. I think it's your big chance. So we're going to go behind this curtain and meet the gentleman, all right? And you're gonna ask them three questions, and then we're gonna find out which matches you best. So you sit here, sweetheart, and think of your three questions, if it's not too much for you. And we're gonna go over here and meet our bachelors. Bachelor number one, your name and a little bit about yourself. Oh, yeah, right. Hello, my name is Bert Gordon. <laughs> you may remember me. I used to be in an 80s hair band called Maniacal Tendency. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to quit because I got bald and fat. It's great to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet him too. All right, bachelor number two. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Emk. Empathetic male companion. <laughs> my qualities include existing <laughs> to the best of my understanding. <laughs> One might work, I think. All right, bachelor number three. Hi. <clears throat> My name is Robert Cunningham. I run a smoke shop in Humidor. <laughs> My first job was emptying ash trays at my parents' restaurant, and now I live the dream. <laughs> I like your place, mate. Great. I like places. <laughs> Well, Jeannie, you've had a chance to meet the boys. Let's pop a question at them. Um, so the first thing I want to know is, have you ever 
stood anyone up for a date? And if so, <laughs> what was the reason? All right. Okay, boys, we'll start over here with number one. Have you ever stood anybody up and why? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, almost daily. Uh, when I was on tour with the boys, uh, it could be any number of reasons. Uh, I didn't want to go. Uh, I couldn't tune my guitar, so I had to stay and tune it. Uh, or my favorite, uh, uh, that I went out with someone else. <laughs> He's honest. All right, bachelor number two. I do not know how to perform the verb stand up to <coughs> someone, but I stand up. <laughs> uh, a marvelous science he is. All right, bachelor number three. Ironically, the only lady I've ever stood up was a stand up comic. <laughs> Now, it was kind of embarrassing. We were supposed to meet in downtown Tucson, and the reason I stood her up was I was in Miami, Florida. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> that makes complete sense. All right. Jeannie, we got another question. I'm sorry. <laughs> so far, these are like the guys I date, so this is good. Uh, so, uh, I would like to know if you are going to pay me a compliment. Now, I know you haven't seen me, so uh, give me your best compliment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over here with, with him in the middle here. <laughs> compliment, compliment the lead. <clears throat> My neural network was trained on a data set composed entirely of Reddit threads. <laughs> My compliment would be, you are Dorf. Durf? That's a dog. Laugh out loud, LOL. <laughs> oh, he's quite the charmer, that one. <laughs> My favorite condiment is pickle relish. <laughs> One. <laughs> Oi, uh, right, Jeannie. Uh, my compliment to you would be your voice is so beautiful, I compose you a ballad sometime. Aww. Aww. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, you only have one more question to ask. Well, that was kind of intriguing. I would like to hear the ballad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear all of them? Yeah. Oh. Where's my earplugs? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna start over here with the humidor, the, the guy who smells like an ashtray. <laughs> Give us a little tune there, Smokey. It's a piano intro. Sing us a song, you're the cigar man. <laughs> Sing us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody. But all we have are dirty limericks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And all I need is a light. All right, let's start over here. We'll see what the rock star has to see. Right, right. Well, let me get, get my guitar here then, right? Right. Bing, 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 bing. JD! short. 
<laughs> Thankfully, this song is not so short. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was yeah. good. very good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> well, Jeannie, the time has come for you to pick your sweetie out of those three <laughs> lovely gentlemen. And are you ready to pick? I think I am. Okay, but you're not going to, you know, because it, it's obvious your taste in men is just hasn't worked for you. <laughs> and so, and so we're gonna let the audience pick for you. Okay? Woo! All right. yeah! so, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, there's no way that they can not show up, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the contract, dear. So just, uh, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, by the show of applause. Should it be bachelor number one? Should it be bachelor number two? Should it be bachelor number three? Well, you know what? I think he's programmed to show up. You finally got a winner. He's your new man. 